Okay, so this is my version 2 probe droid. Now originally, when I designed a probe droid, I used a model and built out an interior that was geared, had another servo, the whole nine yards, but it just never really performed to expectations and there wasn't a lot of space. Now this new model has a lot more space. As you can see in there, it's just like a really open cavity. This has afforded me the luxury of running a lot of fiber optics and a bunch of uh, LEDs. One of which is a four color red, green, blue, white. I've got a red, white LED and then just a regular red one. And then the center is just a solid red as well. The servo body, or main body, has a spin plate and a couple of Hall effect sensors. These pick up on magnets in the base so that I can determine home and rear position and can drive the droid to those positions at will. Um, right now I've got it running on our Arduino Uno with a little Bluetooth adapter and a PS3 nav controller. When it boots up It'll go through a diagnostic routine, and if the onboard serial controller initializes, it'll turn blue and then start fading in and out until a remote is connected. Then, when the remote is connected, the lights turn white. It gives you an indication that you have full control. Body movements map to the joystick, and then I have various LED combos map to the keys as well I also have random dome movement and then again with a simple button press you can send it to the forward and rear positions anytime So largely, yeah, you've got like a scanning white, a scanning red, solid white, solid red, a yes, a no. That's about the best I can do with this little guy. There's not a lot of keys on the navigation controller and my programming is uh, weak at best. I'm like a monkey with a stick, but overall, it's working pretty good. Now, if I expand this to use a full-blown PS3 or PS4 controller, I could actually utilize uh, like a Mega Mini and have like the uh, ISP and serial uh, channels available to output audio either through the form of a piezo buzzer using the tone library or perhaps even a uh, Adafruit sound trigger and a small like three watt speaker but there's not a lot of room in there for like audio amplifier power logic and all of that stuff the core body uses a bearing to disperse the load this is the first one I ordered it's big uh, bigger than it needs to be really um, that's a 25 millimeter inside diameter I've ordered smaller ones but the bearing fits inside the body ca uh, the brace that the servo attaches to and then the little spin plate bolts to a drive shaft that's attached to the servo to form the core body parts. And that is very strong. I have no concerns about weight on that at all at this moment, at least not any weight that that thing can generate. So yeah, that is my version two uh, ID10 tactical probe droid. Uh, more to 
follow.